Week six is now nearly complete, with the only exception being Jim's game against me, which is obviously postponed because he and his missus have had a baby. And congratulations, Jim. He's beautiful. I ain't going to show pictures or anything because that's... But, you know, if anyone is watching that doesn't know the league and the people, wish, wish well. Um, but we're going to start, as I've got the fixtures here, and you can see the results. I'm going to start right at the very top. Only fouls and inducements versus the somebodies. Surprisingly, a much tighter game than I expected. Because the, the Wood Elf team is nasty. And Sam has been struggling for results this season, so I genuinely did expect it to be a bit of a blowout. But, credit to Sam. He won on casualties 2-1 and only lost by a single touchdown and was in the game for the majority of it. How that come down to beat tactics, beat dice, beat positioning, beat bad luck on Liam's part, doesn't matter. I think that's a really good result all in for Sam, and I think that's positive because it shows there's potential. And that's what we like. Moving on now to a less than stellar game for the other Loftus. Uh, the Little Todgers versus Fear the Blocking Dead. Tom, unfortunately, coming out to 2-0 loss. But... Did deal a couple of casualties, although casualties were dealt in turn and some of them were pretty long lasting. It's. We are training Tom. Well, Gavin is putting some training to Tom and I do appreciate it a ton. And I, th I just want Tom to. <laughs> I just want him to get better, do better because he deserves it. Because trust me, if talent was um, laid in enthusiasm, that boy would be at the top. But, it's not how it be. Looking at the final fixture, which is the anti-heroes versus the Trumpton Carnies. 1-0 victory. Narrowly survived, thanks to a failed go for it on turn 16 to equalise, just before the touchline. With the ball landing in the touch zone, just not in the hands of a player. Painful, very painful, but on the side of casualties, it was much, much more close. It was a 2 1 win for the Dark Elves, so although they lost, they put some hurt in. The Minotaur's now doing work, putting himself on four casualties <coughs> for the season. And I'm going to show you guys, before the league split, the fixtures, and we're going to look at the table, and we're going to theorize where people might lay. So, to remind you guys, the final fixtures, which are to be played on the 6th of February. Repeat. The 6th of February, the day before my birthday. The Somebodies versus the Fatberg squad, that is Liam v. Jim. Only Fells and Inducements versus the Little Todgers, that is Sam v. Tom. Myself, the New Coca-Cola Boys versus the Antiheroes and the Stu. And we have Fear the Blocking Dead and the Trumpton Carnies, that is Lee v. Gavin. Interesting, interesting ties, because... Not counting the fixture versus myself and Jim that's to be played. Everyone else is on six games. So, realistically, if results go their way, Liam can afford to lose versus Jim, and Jim could climb into the top four, but bear in mind, Jim has a game in hand, so, you know, points can be earned. Jim has a strong look in for a top four finish, but would need results against me and to perform better than those around him against Liam. Only fails and inducements versus the little Todgers is the battle for the bottom boys. I would argue whoever wins goes clear almost because obviously Tom will need a win and some bonuses. 
it's possible against Snotlings to get the Kaz bonus. He's got the Dark Elf, so he could get the Touch Chain bonus. Clean sheet, difficult. So he could get the 10 points. Sammy's obviously looking more the favourite. And it's going to be for them looking to who will be in the bottom four with them. Oh, Might determine how their like playoff season pans out. The new Coca-Cola boys versus the anti-heroes. It's going to be a close match because I've always been scared of the elf teams because, as you can see, I have only conceded one touchdown this season and that was against a wood elf team. I would probably anticipate conceding maybe one more, but I would like to think that I can get the victory because I don't believe Stuart has ever beaten me which is interesting, which would um, reaffix me, hopefully, at the top of the table, Gavin's result depending, and obviously with the game in hand against Jim. Obviously, there are three teams in the league that haven't lost a game yet, which is... Whew, it's, it's tight. And then we have Fear the Blocking Dead versus the Trumpton Carnies. This... Lee needs to win this if he has any hopes of top four. Gavin, I would argue, is top four safe? Because, actually, no, he, he is safe. Because even at a loss, you gain a point, which would put him 12 points ahead of fifth place. Which, the maximum points you can take for a victory, clean sheet and all bonuses, is 11 points. So, Gavin is our first and only person to have guaranteed top four. He can drop as low as fourth, but he's guaranteed top four. So, this result is kind of a throwaway for Gavin. Although, obviously, Gavin wants to put himself in the best position possible for the league split to be at the top. <coughs> So, looking at the table, and I, I, I apologise, obviously you guys can't see the entire table. Um, I might, in future, make a, a condensed one underneath that's just got the points. Get rid of, like, hide the bonuses or something. Um, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. It's fine, it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna tick. I'm gonna tick. I might have something. Yeah, actually, I can. I can do something. I can do something. So, obviously, I'll undo this after. But I can hide these columns just so you guys can see. There you go. In one clean section. So win loss draws, you can see points, you can see touchdowns, and you can see casualties. It, it's it's tight. The top six, hell, even even seven sinned with a shot. Kind of. Um it, it's just so so damn close at the minute. So my prediction is I think Liam is probably gonna come out narrow victory against Jim which is going to put him in the high 30s which I think we now know if you hit 40 point no yeah if you hit 40 points you are guaranteed top four Gavin is going to hit it I would like to think I am definitely going to hit it and I would also expect Liam to considering with the three teams undefeated we have the most points we also have some of the better casualties, but honestly, scoring form goes to Liam on that one. Only fouls inducements versus little todgers. I do expect Sam to win, but I would pray and fucking hope that Tom can get a result because I think that would be magnanimous. In New Color Boys into Anti Heroes, I do think it's a bit of a foregone conclusion, but at the end of the day, you never count out a Dark Elf team, even if it did have its War Dancer stamped to death in the last game. Yeah. 
and then fear the blocking dead versus the terms of connie's this is a match that i can't call like they're both using meme teams one with hobgoblins now adding a minotaur so they're definitely going a bit more meta and then one with skeletons if it wasn't for the minotaur i would probably say it would be a draw but i'm probably going to assume gavin might eke out something but i wouldn't be shocked if it's a draw and they and so this is obviously how the table is now looking hmm it's gonna be tight i'm not gonna go through the um the passes the scores the casualties i'm not gonna go through the player tables like that just yet but um yeah i think we're gonna leave that there guys so remember fixtures are to be played on the 6th of february and i will be looking forward to it ta guys